Welcome to the mayor's birthday celebration. Listen to the sounds of pure ecstasy. together for the mayor, the mayor, Mayor Willie Brown. Thank you very much. I will not be performing with this talented group of musicians. And please give them a round of applause again. Mr. President and all of his folks who performed so well. I clearly have the easiest job there is at this moment. Because having migrated from Texas and ultimately meeting many of you, I was not indigenous to this city. We are indeed fortunate that for the first time in a very long time, we actually have a true San Franciscan as the mayor of this town. <laughs> when somebody said, you are to introduce the mayor, I said, no, I am to present the mayor. The mayor already knows everybody in this goddamn town. That's the nature of who this mayor really is. Having spent her early years over in the Western Edition part of San Francisco. Raphael School. Moving on from there to Galileo High. Not one of those other schools. But moving from there, University of California, Davis, and then USF. You can't traverse the process any better as a San Franciscan. Went to work for the city early on. Worked out at Treasure Island when Anne Marie and that group of people were running that island. And then saw fit to come utilizing that extraordinary talent and demonstrate that talent by rescuing and making possible an institution in the Western Edition called the West Edition Center, the one that became the culture center and the anchor tenant of the Western Edition. Wow. This woman has been incredibly dedicated. You and many of you participated in making her the supervisor from that district. Her colleagues saw that talent, and in spite of how confused many of them are, they were absolutely focused on the quality of the leadership that she could provide, and on two occasions made her the president of that illustrious 11-member board. It didn't surprise me at all, not at all. I knew that she would ultimately hold the title, she would ultimately be able to surpass all of the mayors that any of you remember. I won't go back to Ali Odo because I didn't see anybody here old enough to remember Ali Odo but me. You might remember him, but you were not old enough to vote. Uh, I must tell you that there have been a collection of mayors since Ali Odo, but none of them, in my opinion, has exhibited the quality and the appropriateness of being the person who should run this city. This mayor runs this city as if she is a social worker, as if she is a policeman, as if 
She's directed all aspects of this city in every quarter. She understands all the issues, whether it's the most complicated nature of health, whether it's the most complicated nature of economy and economic development and employment, whether it's the most complicated nature of relationships between the most diverse city in the whole nation. This woman represents the personification of all those things. Ladies and gentlemen, my mayor and your mayor, London Nicole Breed. Thank you, Mayor Brown. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. First of all, thank you. Thank you all for coming out, not just to support my campaign, but to celebrate my birthday. And today is my actual birthday. So a lot of friends have thrown a lot of parties over the past week. So thank you to all those friends even though next year I'm going out of town, so you won't be able to surprise me. <laughs> but let me just start by saying that, you know, first of all, it's a beautiful day, and usually every year on my birthday, it's always foggy. And second of all, you all look amazing. Uh, and beautiful. I, thank you, thank you. You all look amazing, all dressed up. Some of my friends who never dress up, I see you. <laughs> Um, and I feel the love in the room. I feel the support in the room. And I know that here in San Francisco, we face a lot of challenges. As someone who grew up here, as someone who grew up in very challenging circumstances, I see my brother, the tallest man in the room, next to Scott Weiner, my brother Paul in the back. Paul, big pig. You know, we grew up in some challenging circumstances, and so to be provided with the opportunity to get a good education, to be provided with the opportunity to serve the city, whether it's on a commission or the Board of Supervisors or now as mayor, it is my real honor. Because I really never thought something like this would ever be possible for someone like me. And I feel really blessed and humbled that so many people in this city had voted to elect me as mayor uh, because they believed in me and they supported me, but they also knew that I wouldn't be doing this job alone. All of you who were out there campaigning, many of you continue to be there time and time again, whether it's pus pushing for changes to our housing policies, whether it's trying to open a navigation center because we know homeless people need a place to live. No matter what the situation is, You've all come out, you've all supported these causes, and because of your work, you are helping us to make San Francisco a better place. In fact, since I've been in office for about a year now, we've been able to get over 1,500 people off the streets. And, and counting, and counting. I just got a text message yesterday about a guy who I grew up with, who, you know, I, I say this, jokingly, but he did used to try to holler at me. <laughs> and I grew up with this guy, and he was persistent. I didn't give him a chance, but he was persistent. But he was always so sweet and so respectful. And he's had some challenges over the years, including severe brain damage. So he's been struggling financially, and he was homeless, living in his car. Didn't want to give up his car. And because of the director of the Office of Homelessness here in the city, Jeff Kaczynski, Jeff went to him personally, got him in a navigation center, and this week he's moving into his own place. And I gotta tell you, nothing feels better than to know that you are in a position to be able to help people who need it the most. Because I know that when I was growing up in this city, it took a village to raise me. I see my aunties here, the Breeze, Hermie, and Denise. I see Mary Lee, who used to watch me, and my grandmother just absolutely loved her, and she would take us to school and feed us and, you know, whoop us every now and then. <laughs> But the community raised me, the community supported me. And so now as mayor, my goal is to make sure that this city does a better job at supporting one another. Because I gotta tell you, 
when I see all of the challenges that we're experiencing, I can't help but think that could have easily been me. I could have easily been someone who sadly was strung out on drugs or going through some of those sad experiences, you know, but for my community, but for the support and the love and the nurturing and the people who helped lifted me up. And so as a result, I see you too, Latifa. As a result, as a result, nothing is more important to me than not only addressing the challenges of today, but making sure that we are investing in young people, that we provide an opportunity through my opportunities for all, for all high school students to have a paid internship. To make sure that our kids in this city, no matter where they live, no matter where they come from, that they don't fall through the cracks. We have to be concerned not just about our kids, but we have to be concerned about other people's kids. And that is really my goal as mayor, is to create an environment of support, of nurturing, of caring, and yes, like Ms. Brown, of tough love. <laughs> That's how we're gonna get to a better place with our incredible leaders. Scott Wiener's been absolutely amazing in Sacramento. Thank you so much for being here to you know, support me on my birthday. So many incredible leaders and commissioners and folks who help make San Francisco a better place. Thank you to the Breeze. I see my sister Hattie is here and yeah. my niece Heaven. And again, my brother's in the back. You can't miss him. Thank you to my community, the folks from Filmo, Stormy, Ute, all my Filmo folks who came out, Bernadette, my friends from college, Monica, Nicole, Zane, and Rob, and other things. So many people from so many parts of my life, people I work for, people like Anne Marie, people I work with in the community. Like, you all make it possible for me to go out there in faith and do the hard job of running this city. Yeah. And because of you, Amen. we've made progress. We've made progress with homelessness, but yes, we have more work to do. Yeah. We made progress with helping people who struggle with mental illness, especially with our mental health stabilization beds. We opened 100 and have another 100 hey, planned hey, for this year. Right. We're making progress on building more affordable housing and neighborhood preference is gonna make sure that we don't make mistakes of the past so that people who qualify in their neighborhoods can get right of first refusal for the housing that's built right in their community. Yeah. And we're bringing to voters a $600 million affordable housing bond without raising property taxes. Woo! Let me tell you, I can go on and on and on because the team that I'm working with at City Hall, they are absolutely amazing and I know some of them are here. I yell at them a lot. They yell back. But ultimately, their heart is in the right place and we are here to get the job done. We are here to make San Francisco a more vibrant, a more inclusive and to maintain its diversity because we know that there are challenges but we also know we've made progress. And we also know that working together, we can make San Francisco even better. So I'm gonna be counting on each and every one of you over the year. Yes, I am on the ballot this November. Yes, yes I'm running a campaign because I'm not taking anything for granted. I am going to work hard to not only make sure that I get elected, re-elected, but I'm gonna work hard to make sure Susie Loftus gets elected our district attorney. I'm gonna work hard to make sure Valley Brown is a supervisor for District 5, and some of the other folks that their races aren't as hard as those two, but I'm still gonna work Jenny Lamb, who's running for school board. So I am gonna be out there working hard for you and making San Francisco even better. And so today we celebrate because we know there's a lot of challenges and work to do, but guess what? We can still have a good time. Yeah. We can still have a party. Yeah. We can still dress up and have some fun. Yeah. And that's what we're doing, Sala. We're having some fun today. So enjoy Preston Turner. Enjoy the Rick and Rush show. Enjoy the party. Enjoy the venue and all that it has to offer. Mayor Brown, thank you for your support. You see, he's trying to leave to go to his next event. But Mayor Brown, thank you for being here.
Thank you for being a friend and a mentor and a supporter and, and just really being amazing because, again, being mayor is tough, but I can call him any time, any day, any hour, and he has been really great and supportive of all that I do because he, as a former mayor himself, understands. Just these are hard decisions, and you got to make sure that you have someone who has your back, people that you're able to talk to and bounce ideas off of, and so that you can ultimately do what's in the best interest of the people of the city and county of San Francisco. Thank you all so much for your faith and your love. Let's hear it one more time. Let's hear it for San Francisco's own Mayor London Breed. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to follow the bouncing ball. Are you guys ready? We're gonna say happy birthday, and I want you to follow the bouncing ball. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Come true.